kind of stuff like a banana. Even a kiwi is pretty good, but if you do a bunch of those in a row, you, you get a lot of pulp in there if it's that type of a, a fruit. I haven't tasted anything. Yeah. 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 Now you drink this straight. You want me to drink this straight? I had a conversation with a lady the other day, and that's why we're joking about that. She says, you mean you want me to drink water straight? <laughs> and I said, that's what I mean. I did tell her she could drink it on the rocks if she wanted. But honestly, that's where we're at in our culture. We were laughing, it was funny. But, I mean, you can buy packets of whatever to dump in your water to make your water not water anymore, right? And um, so... We do have these little conversations between ourselves about, yeah, we drink juice straight, we drink water straight, we eat fruit straight. <laughs> okay, we're on a downhill. This is going to start getting tasty and easy for you guys. So let's peel. I'm going to peel a couple of great fruit. Um, and so we'll bring this one back here. And this grapefruit orange, if you like, a orange juice from the juicer is about, I've measured it like a billion times better than uh, grape, or orange juice from the store. But you add the grapefruit in there, unless you really don't like grapefruit, the taste of it is wonderful. Uh, I, I really love this piece. I have an old piece. Yeah. So does everybody know what this little thing we're using this peeler is? Does everybody have a peeler like that? I've had people go, what's that thing you're using there before? I've, I've always known about them. I guess maybe not everybody's used a peeler like that. So if you're going to do citrus fruits and you don't want to have to like I don't know, cut it or something like that, then you use one of these yeah, things here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think your energy level would be like if you got living raw food into it every day? Mm -hmm. We can't understand why people need energy drinks, right? You know, some kind of way that you we're okay, you can talk about that. So you're talking about like a biblical diet or something? Yeah, so I was actually, I had a whole thing that I considered talking to people about tonight because honestly, everything that we do in life trickles down from some core set of beliefs we have about life and what is true. And how you answer those questions and where you came from and what your purpose is and all those things. Those are going to affect things like the food you eat. So let's just agree that we all exist here. And then the question is, okay, so we exist. And maybe you answer that, that you were created and you are put here. Maybe you say we evolved here. Regardless, once you are here, now the question is what to eat or how to survive. And whether you answer that from a Bible-based perspective and what do they say? God said you can have the, the seed-bearing fruit of any plant. And you can have the herbs of the field, and for those, for for you, those will be meat. That's basically what it says there. And we don't even get the imagery of meat or animal products being added until after, you know, man was dissociated from God. So, um, if you want to think of it that way, I mean, one way I think some people kind of rationalize that is they say, well, we are fallen, so let's kill a bunch of animals and eat them. That's what we're supposed to do. Well, or is is that part of the problem? Is that we don't operate by that initial kind of set of principles maybe that God gave us as far as eating the plants and the foods and having a peaceful type of a dietary um, culture. So if you come from that perspective, I think that makes sense. Now whether if you think we evolved, I think you come to the same conclusion. So if you evolved here, what, what did human beings eat 200,000 years ago? Well, they didn't eat McDonald's, they didn't eat that stuff. They ate fruits and vegetables. Before they had tools and developed, it's not like they went and wrestled down a deer, they ate fruit, right? When they started having tools, yeah, maybe people started hunting and doing that things, but even that, even that paleo diet stuff, which is a great compared to what we do, um, from an evolutionary perspective, that's a very late development, primarily due to climate change and things. So fruits and vegetables are what we need to be healthy. And the more you do that, and every modern science research that's been done would say the higher per percentage or proportion of your diet that is a raw fruit and vegetable, the healthier you will be. And so by definition, if you're eating something else, whether that's an animal product or something that's not a fresh fruit and vegetable, the percentage of your diet that's fruit and vegetable is going down. And 
that's always associated with more disease. So the more and more and more fruits and vegetables you can do, and raw stuff you can do, the better your health will be, period. Um, now, people who study this in a realistic, cultural-based situation, there's not that much difference between eating no meat versus eating 10 to 15% meat um, in the diet as far as how they've measured it. But point being, when you get a diet that's really fruit and vegetable and raw and you eat it as the earth makes it, um, your health will increase the proportion that you do that. It's very, very simple as far as that goes. You know, I guess part of the, the little bit of discussion we were having earlier, though, is that our culture has tried to make nutrition so difficult that nobody wants to attempt it, right? I mean, what herb are we supposed to take this week? Go turn on Dr. Oz. Tomorrow he'll have some new herb for you to take, right? Next week will be the next new vitamin. It's ridiculous, right? This is so simple. We just try to make it complicated, right? I mean, eat raw fruits and vegetables. Guess what? You live longer. You know, I mean, but we just feel like our educated brain has to come in and say, no, 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 or these smart human beings, you know, and and we know what to do. That's you lemon, know. huh? That's lemon. Okay, we'll leave that out of this. Um, okay, we're gonna give everybody a nice big serve. Actually, what do I have here coming up as far as the grapefruit? All right, let's. Do you need more grapefruit? No, I like any other recipes. Um, that's what I'm wondering here. Let's add a little bit more. So everybody gets a lot of a nice tasty one. It's going to smell good in here tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great fruit and oranges. Yeah. Maybe people come in for an extra adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we help everybody out. Do you mind if I get a clean cup? What's going on? You want, you, you want to cleanse your palate? We don't. We should have something. No, all here. I taste is beet. Who else wants it? I think we got enough. Thank you. Thank you. There's grocery stores full of them. Who else needs one? No. Where's the guy? He had one more bowl. Right? There's a bowl right there. This one? Yeah. There's another bowl in the office. I didn't leave that out. There's a purple bowl in the office. Did you stir that up? <coughs> Two men in the kitchen. <laughs> this one is we so don't have to cook. It's, so it's all raw, so we're all good. <laughs> Who cleans up? We do. We just rinse that thing off. Now, grapefruit is, as far as if you are concerned about the glycemic index and you haven't graduated to the dumb down is it a fruit or a vegetable and if so you can eat it philosophy if you if you're still monitoring that stuff for health reasons like diabetes or whatever grapefruit is a lower glycemic fruit um, even more so than oranges so you know you should be in pretty good shape oh, if you're having raw grapefruit um, it's a very very good tasting juice if you like orange juice or things it's I mean I can I can fill a couple of those mason jars up and you will be going to the bathroom pretty soon, but I mean, you can drink, drink a lot of that. It's very, very good. So keep in your mind, that's, that's especially good in the winter. If you try it in the middle of summer in Pennsylvania, buy a grapefruit, you're going to get tough stuff that's not as sweet. The oranges are not going to be as good, and maybe some of you have noticed that. What's the difference between when I get a good orange and a bad orange? If you never thought about it, it's usually it's a seasonal thing. Right now, the grapefruit and oranges are really good. In the summer, do something else, do something that's in season. <laughs>